Hi, I'm uh, Pramohan Chakravarti, currently pursuing integrated PhD at the National Center for Biological Sciences, Bangalore. Hi, I'm anxious Amit. You can also call me stressed out Sunil or depressed Deepak. What? Don't look at me like that. I, I don't feel like smiling. I do not want to laugh. I have had enough. Within checkerboards, my life, seven days, nine to five, office and work, and next morning again, crowded trains. I feel stressed every single day. I suffer from stress disorder. That's what my doctor says. Did you know that stress affects not just our bodies, but also our brains? Yes, it's true that stress affects our brain cells and their functions too. In fact, inside my stressed out brain, if you happen to look, you would see there is an almond-shaped region called the amygdala, somewhere about here in this nook. It is the seat for anxiety and fear and because of stress, it has grown in size. It functions way more now than it did otherwise. So, I'm always anxious. I avoid my peers, mistake a rope for a snake. Stress has increased my fears. Above the amygdala sits the banana-shaped hippocampus, the hard disk of the brain, which stores all your memories. Due to stress that has shrunk, it functions less than it must. So I can't remember things. My memory is dust. I Forget again the names, places, the useful information. Now our brain is made up of many such regions and they function as a circuit. You see, with the region A connected and interacting with another region B. Likewise, the hippocampus and the amygdala also interact and connect functionally. In fact, stressing out rats in the lab has shown that the amygdala in the stressed out brain, it's the kingpin, it's the boss. It hijacks hippocampus and weakens it, causing memory loss. It disrupts positive feelings. Stress hormones touch the ceiling. Inside a rat, if you stress a rat, its amygdala cells grow like that, that, that. Even they get anxiety attacks. Their fears go up, their memories fade. A dangerous place they cannot evade. They don't gain weight, don't like things that are good, like a syrup of sugar or a new kind of food, behaving just like a stressed human would. Anxious, scared, in a depressed mood. So, what do we do? How do we deal with it? Living in this age with the demands we face, in this Rat race, we all have stress. How do we fight it? <clears throat> Let me address. In our lab, we have seen that keeping young rats together in a group where they can run and play and grow together like all young people should, it enriches them and has an effect quite opposite to stress. The hippocampus grows back stronger while the amygdala cells regress. In fact, in rats, stress severely, a period that's stress-free in the hippocampus, it re-establishes normalcy. What's also nice is that exercise produces helpful proteins called neurotrophins that are good kind molecules protecting your brain, guarding you from the stress and strain and is just as good for you. So come on, hit a six or two. Run for a mile of you. Take a break and take a kick when deadlines are chasing you. Ooh, ooh, go and interact socially, not online, but greet vocally. Hey, meet your old friends locally because all work and no play. Messes up cells inside Jack's brain, makes him an anxious summit again. Now that you know this new refrain, come on, let's all say, we shall fight stress like we never did. Yes, we shall fight stress like we never did.